all right, money makers. So I'm gonna have to do it to y'all this way because when when I came across this, it was after you know I had to <laughs> and then you know, got a little sensitive. But then when I saw this, you know, I was like instantly mad again. <laughs> so let me piss y'all off first, and then you know make y'all say it instead of make y'all say it and then piss you off. And now you looking crazy like I was. So uh, this happened in 2011. That he was. This is the. Carl Allen guy. So I just want to show y'all this and then I'm going to bounce to the other part. So this is the Carl Allen guy. At this time he was 20. And so this is around 2011, 2012 when all of this went on. Um, He was jailed for, I think, did it say first degree murder? Yes, with first degree murder and the death of uh, Giovanni Diaz. Okay, now um, evidently he got off. Evidently he got off. I had read the whole thing. I ain't gonna read it to you, but I will. Let me go back up and I scroll slowly. That way you can pause it and read it, and then you know, continue on, or you can go um, the Chicago Tribune. I just typed in his name, Carl Allen, Chicago, Illinois. So. This is what we come up with. All right, so I'm going to move on down. You know, this is y'all want to read this about the little case. Uh, again, uh, Diaz, let me, I'm, I'm going to show y'all. I'm right here in this paragraph right here. So Diaz was shot once in the chest and died at Mount Sinai. You know, I'm starting to believe that that hospital is like the organ transplanting hospital because like if you think about the hospital that the celebrities and stuff go to they'll never come out that motherfucker the same and they usually die anywhere from a couple of days to a week to maybe a month or so later of um heart problems and complications i'm just saying we'll talk about that later y'all don't want me to get on that type of stuff y'all be here all day fooling around with me and that man y'all just don't know i like that kind of stuff so um yeah just trying to let y'all read this so i can move on you know like i say y'all just um pause the video and just uh read this if you would like and 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 continue on but for my money makers that's just ready to move on let's move on give me one minute all right, so Tyra, y'all remember Tyra, uh, you know, during the Kanika case, she had came to the spotlight at one point of time um, pertaining to pictures like this with her being in there. And, you know, she had a little bit to say. And um, I seen her, you know, a lot like on Kanika's MySpace and um, Twitter and all that stuff. Um, I can't even remember what her name was on Twitter. But anyway, she had some old accounts out there that I found and lurked upon, which I was supposed to tell y'all about Leonora Bajaz on MySpace. You know, she never claimed Kanika on MySpace. We'll talk about that, though. Y'all just going to have to remind me, you know, email me like, hey, what a video is such and such at? You know, remind me. So this is supposed to be Kanika. Well, this is Kanika's cousin, um, supposedly the baby mama of uh Carl. Okay, here's something I didn't I did something she just posted today. Oh my kids, out of everybody I've lost in my lifetime, ain't nothing worse than this pain of losing your own fucking child. And everybody keeps saying things happen for a reason, but for the fucking life of me, I just can't understand why. Um the most high let me go a full nine months carrying my baby just to take him away from me literally can't even think about shit else with him i just want my fucking baby man okay love you kaka okay so this is uh the carl allen's uh baby mama this kanika's cousin so like I said, as far as Carl Allen himself go, I have not confirmed that he is or isn't Kanika's cousin, okay? That I, I, I know she's supposed to be her cousin because we didn't drug her through the um, spotlight during the Kanika thing. So, um, this is the baby mama, 
This is Kanika's cousin. But I want to now. She had her baby either on the 19th or the 20th. And and she um lost the baby on the 21st or the 22nd basically. So, well, I think on the 21st. So, um so this is the cousin that lost a child the same day as J Money. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if somewhere in that translation it became Kanika's cousin child to Kanika's cousin Carl to Kanika's um cousin's baby daddy. I don't I don't know what in translation got messed up there, but Tyra is Kanika's cousin, and on the day J Money was killed, she lost her child, and the child was only like a day or two old, okay? Um, now, let me get to uh, Carl here. Now, Carl was not gunned down in March, period. He was not. This man was shot in February, um, here is his girlfriend, um, call her Mikey. And I'm not saying I'm, this is really what they call her Mikey. Uh, Shayella Tucker, they call her Mikey or whatever. Um, cause I'm telling you, I didn't read damn near everything on all three of these pages. Tyra's, uh, Mikey's and Carl's last night up until three, four o'clock this morning. I kid y'all not. So, all right, and and I promise I got a whole nother 20-minute video where I had hit the screen record, and I didn't know, and y'all, let me tell y'all, I, I might have to play part of it because I been sounding so crazy, like I literally been here talking to myself, like, girl, no, that ain't, this ain't it, you know, like I really be talking myself through it, and I didn't realize I did that until I was like, well, what video is this, and I had recorded right at like 20 minutes of me lurking through these pages, so I was like, well, good, I'm gonna say this video so I could just come back, I would just like, I would mute me, and you know, put my voice over over it but I was like no I'm gonna walk out through this so um this what let me see okay no 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 let me go back because the day they had his funeral and I mean y'all go back in and, and see all this for yourself um I just want to get to some key points so I can move on so you know in the video from um Irene in the blue sedan with the two dudes behind her and the one with the ski mask, um, she had on red and black. This is what I was referring to when I said they had on red and white. You know what I'm saying? Looking angelic and, you know, sending his body on, you know. And Irene looked at, like, just straight evil, you know. And, um, okay, let's let's get on down. I'm trying to get there, y'all, because... Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I want y'all to um, know. And then I'm going to keep going down and show y'all, you know, when he got shot and all that good stuff. But this right here is what kind of, like, made me sad. Because what I did is I had just immediately went all the way down. And then I worked myself back up to this point. But I had seen this before i done that. So it says, I'm up and sober now and just realize how bogus motherfuckers did me at the funeral i spoke on the facts motherfuckers did carl wrong as fuck this whole fucking process his mama pulled the plug not even giving a fuck tears was running down his face now i'm gonna tell you right now i, I ain't even gonna lie my kids would just be on that machine. I wouldn't give a damn if I had to get out here and trick on the streets to pay that bill. I wouldn't give a damn if I had to go and find somebody on the black market and sell a fucking kidney, you know, to keep life in my child. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, 
uh, people talking about, well, maybe, I, I don't know what people saying about this. I'm just saying, like, in situations where I know people don't pull plugs on people. Uh, well, they don't have to suffer no more. It's for the better and this and that. Uh, let me tell you something. My thing is, if the Most High was ready for that person to be called home, it wouldn't be no life in that body. If the Most High was ready for that person to be called home, that person wouldn't have even had a chance to make it for the machine to hook up to them. It's people that then died on the machine while the machine was giving them breath. So if it's your time, please believe the Most High is going to call you. When your number pull, can't nobody on this earth stop that. If it's from the most high, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I I was just feeling some type of way about that. Um, So it say, and, and tears was running down his face because nobody, because wasn't nobody going to come see him and he going to catch bed sores in the nursing home. So this let y'all know he wasn't gunned down that night. He was in a nursing home. He had got shot in February. I'm going to go down and show y'all. So she say, I should have killed that bitch then. Plus, she wasn't even there for him when he needed her the most. He ain't even had no fucking family. Boo, I never missed a day, period. I real life watched my boy take his last breath by my fucking self and let... Let's not forget, motherfuckers wouldn't have never had a funeral if it wasn't for me. I got the city to pay for it. Hold on. I hit the comments. I want to try to hit the comments. Try to hear, continue reading. Because I know she said I had the city to pay for it. Um, okay. Had the city to pay for that, you know. Because uh, motherfuckers was too fucking cheap. To touch his $100,000 life insurance policy. Motherfuckers didn't give a fuck about Carl. That man was worth more dead than alive. And that's what kills me the most. Uh, Man fucked that obituary. His family except Connell. And everybody who had something to do with it. And thanks sis for reading his obituary the right way. I know my boy loved me more than any motherfucker that was in it. Okay. Then, then so my thing is. If he really loved her as much as he said. As much as she say he loved her. Then he wouldn't have had a baby that was just born. A couple of days ago by another woman, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, here we go in this whole love triangle thing. But um, but as for the Carl Allen, I just want y'all to know that his mom pulled the plug on him while he was in the nursing home. All right. I tell y'all what, just give me a minute. Let me go scroll down. I'm gonna uh stop right here because shit, I've been scrolling for like a minute. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So, <coughs> um, if I'm not mistaken, I I think March seventh, and I'm saying I'm thinking March seventh is the day that they might have pulled the plug or something, but I don't know. Let me try to get on down for y'all. I'm gonna try to get on down because um he was shot in February like around the fourth or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he I think he was actually I think he was shot on the second. I think he was shot on the second. Let me go down because I think it was like the second. Okay. And then, and then, um, yeah, and then by the third, everybody was posted. So, I'm thinking he got shot on the second, or it could have been uh, early on the third of February. So, I just wanted to clarify that for you all. And, I mean, he, he wasn't no saint if he had a first-degree murder charge on him 
from what like six seven years ago and i'm like how the fuck is he out you know what i'm saying how did he get out off of that but anywho this is the carl allen this is the baby daddy of tyra thomas kanika's cousin and this is um mikey this um the tucker girl that's her boyfriend so I just wanted to clear that up for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So he was shot. He was shot. I was just trying to see was there to see a van. But yeah, he was shot on the um second or the third, and I think they pulled a the plug on him March the seventh and everything like that. So no, Carl Allen was not the guy that was gunned down with um was not the one that was gunned down with uh J Money and on the day that Jay Money was gun uh, gunned down, if you check the video before this, I talked about Carlos L. Gaddy and all that stuff to just try to clear up some things that I've been reading in my comments that y'all been sending me, uh, you know, saying and whatever. Um, yeah, I see y'all. I might not get to message everybody or anything, but you know, if you caught a heart, you know, I read it and took it into consideration. And I thank all y'all so much, you know, for, you know, the help you know correcting me if i'm wrong appreciating me if i'm right and you know some of y'all are really really you know lovable i love y'all so much but i can't stand y'all negative nancy's that be down in the comments with that bull and everything but y'all y'all are make it but anyway if y'all enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it get down in the comments and let's talk about what's going on i'll see y'all later peace